In this video, I will show you how to configure the review process. The review process can be configured to be very automatic or it can be more manual. And after the documents have been submitted by the originator, uh, the documents can be distributed according to these settings and based on the distribution setup. When a document has been reviewed, the review response uh, goes automatically back to the originator of the document, including a PDF file with the uh, uh, markups and an Excel file listing the comments. Also, how this Excel file looks like is something that can be configured. And what should happen when a new revision is submitted from the originator is also something that you can configure. And in Omega 365 setup, we have org settings being one of the key places where you configure the review process. Review due days is how many days you, uh, the uh, receiver has for reviewing the document. So in this case, it's 10 calendar days. So it also counts uh, Saturdays, Sundays, for example. Enforce use of deliveries is uh, applicable both to review documents for review, but also documents submitted for info for other reasons. It basically means that the originator has to use the document delivery app. If not, they can also use it direct, the deliver documents directly in document register. Show comments name in review response. That uh, means that uh, the com each individual commenter that has made comments will show that per comment. So if uh, only one of you, the review responsible, then you do not check this one. If you have checked this one, you will see the name and Excel file of who made the comment. Next delivery days is uh, the number of days when one is expecting a new revision after the document has been reviewed. Uh, you have, in this case, uh, 10 days to issue a new revision. Synchronize is something you can use to uh, make sure that these values are then applied to all the org units, including the sub-org units. When the review responsible finalizes a review, he or she needs to select a review response code. The review response codes are defined here and there are some key settings here as well. So first of all we have require new review. That means if uh, this is turned on the originator has to issue a new revision with a release code requiring a review. So if we have a little look here at release codes you can see that there are uh, uh, an IFR that is requiring a review. So that means that uh, for documents where the review response code was not accepted, the next revision in this case has to be an IFR. No comments is for the system to understand that uh, this review response code means that there shall not be any comments on the document. So the review response will get an error message if so. And for uh, the same uh, principle here with require comments, so if you choose uh, accepted with comments incorporated or not accepted in these cases, then you will get an error message if there are no comments. Review to responsible only. That means that uh, if this code is selected, the ones that gets it for review when you get a new revision is only the review responsible. Quite typical to use that on uh, this response code when it's accepted with comments incorporated. Then it's only for the review responsible to verify that these comments actually have been incorporated. Require new revision for info. That means when uh, the next revision is uh, submitted, these uh, Documents are only distributed for information, including those that are set up to be on the reviewer list. Also, these uh, review response uh, uh, codes can say something about if the documents should automatically be released, like in this case, when it's accepted. 
the release date will automatically be set on the document. So if it's accepted in this case, it's automatically set as released the way this one is configured. To make these release codes available for the different uh, projects or in for the different organization units, you use the publish to org units. You can close when uh, these response codes should not be available for use anymore, you close them. And we also support translation, so you can have uh, the same uh, response code but with different languages. Okay, thank you for watching this video about how to configure the review process in Omega 365.